How you doing, everybody? My name is Kinesis, and welcome to Notebook Detective, the case of the speakeasy. We'll just put that back up there. This is really quiet. There's no sound. No sound at all. Okay, that's fine. Um, start game? Sure. Found this on Itch.io. Let's see what we got. Oh, God. Hello, new detective. As we discussed at the office, you will be taking over this case. Here is the summary of what I told you. The victim was named William. He was a 23-year-old black man. He was found in the alleyway next to the bar on the 25th of October and appears to have died from blunt force trauma to the dick. Yet it seems like the culprit tried to make it look like a robbery due to a missing wallet and other valuables. Another note of interest. One of William's band members is currently on trial for another crime. Best of luck to you. Signed by... <laughs> All of this seems very circumstantial. Just as a note. Oh shit. Oh shit, this is 3D! Whoa! Oh! This takes point and click to a whole nother level. No jumping. No jump function. Hmm, clipping textures, my favorite. <gasps> what does that say? Oh. Annabelle. The notebook. You have obtained new information. This information is saved in the notebook. Press tab. Open the notebook to learn the basics. The hat was found in the alleyway, a rather modern style. Annabelle is written in the rim. Oh, shit! I can... Oh! Okay, notes of interest. Annabelle. Narrator's transcript. Case report. Find an item or insert the right information to unlock the narrator. <gasps> what? That's so cool. Fascinating. Okay, all right. Notes of interest. Good to know. Um, switch. You can switch characters by using the scroll wheel? Case report. Evidence. Every time you interact with a new interactable, an evidence page will be added to the notebook. These pages will contain the information that the narrators will tell you along the way. You can drag words from the evidence pages in your notes of interest. This could help you with remembering certain pieces of information, or it can be used to transfer words to other pages. To example, unlock new narrators. Uh huh. Interesting. Unlocked character one, unlock character two, unlock character three. Or I haven't unlocked them yet. Evidence rusty lock, evidence hat. Huh. Investigator Co. Ah! Investigator. It's been common since Prohibition started for illegal booze makers to use ironic names for their brands. That's probably why this one says Investigator Co. Prohibition, perhaps? 
Annabelle's an investigator. Works at the same company that you do and was here before you. You've now unlocked Annabelle. This character will tell its tale when interacting with objects. Let me switch to Annabelle then. I reorganized the amount of bottles as a reminder for when I have to get inside again. The amount of bottles? Uh-huh. see about her hat. I was putting number one in the padlock when this damn wind blew my hat straight into a puddle. I have to buy a new one now. Putting a number, putting one in the padlock. This lock doesn't even need a key. Nobody will notice that I was in here. I'll just put it back on the door. Interesting. Okay. So I've got a bunch of stuff here. Uh huh. Huh. Just putting number one in the padlock. We're going to the amount of bonds for a reminder when I have to get inside again. So it's one, six, and... What? One, six... Cigarettes? The amount of bottles. I reorganize the amount of bottles as a reminder for when I have to get inside again. So six, one, and six. Most standard locks start at one of the high ends, in this case eight, and then go downwards. Eight, six, one. I didn't investigate! Scrawny Bob hit the clock right when I asked for the time. Scrawny Bob, huh? Let's, uh... Let's hear about Scrawny Bob. Clocks aren't new, but the lack of the pendulum is very recent invention. It stuck at 2 o'clock. It seems shinier than everything else in the bar. Scrawny Bob. Let's do Bob, perhaps. Standard locks. Simple padlock, three separate inputs, side door. All right, so let's see if uh, your boy's name. Customers often describe this person who doesn't seem to have the best composure. Perhaps Bob is his name. What do we got over here? The scrawny waiter was reading the newspaper when I came in. He jumped up when I approached him. Scrawny Freddie Baker on trial for burglary. Freddie Baker was arrested at his residence in Elizabeth Street, Chicago, on account of a burglary. His trial will soon follow after a number of protests fighting both for and against him continue to grow tremendously. Despite this, a recent testimony by the anonymous Mr. R has shifted the favor for, uh, firmly against Freddie Baker, and his situation is looking grimmer by the day. I'm a gritty detective. I'm on the case. I haven't spoken at all this entire episode, but I'm on the case. The local doctor found a gold mine of explosives. Plans world domination by bird. Ooh. First. First, last, second. Cross. Vault, second, first, anguish, down, sugar, venom, last, dapper, icing, and apathy. Wait. Six, four, and three. Six, four, and three. Six, four, and three. Don't forget that. Six, four, and three. That's important. That's very important, I think. Waiter. All right. This one mentions an upcoming performance of the Peaky Skillets. Right. 
See if this guy unlocks. Hey, I got Bob. Now unlock Bob. It's telltale when interacting with objects. Now multiple narrators. Use the mouse wheel to switch between them. Richard must have felt like some kind of spy, hiding such an important code in a custom-made crossword puzzle. Six, four, and three. Yeah, I kind of figured that out myself. Lemon cake, strawberry cake, chocolate muffin. Let's go see what he has to say about everything else. We took the first clock apart to build the secret lamp's mechanism. Which is why the numbers match up the lamp's positioning. Now we have to hide this one. Kind of ironic. Wait, what? We took the first 11. clock apart to build the secret lamp's mechanism. Which is why the numbers match up the lamp's positioning. Now we have to hide this one. Kind of ironic. 1130-something? 1130-something? I don't know. See what he has to say about all this. Why did Freddy not hide this? Richard told him to do so. Keep talking about Freddy. Isn't this Annabelle's hat? What was she doing out in the back? I don't know. Perhaps rehearsing her lines better than you. I mean, I'm not surprised. I don't know. He broke after all those years. Well, that's unhelpful. I guess I'll have to go searching for information. Hmm. Not surprised it broke. Annabelle. Freddy. Let's look for Freddy and Richard. What else we got? Oh, I already looked at that. Ah. Oh yeah, I didn't check what he's had to say about that thing. Whatever. Richard must have felt like some good bad. Spy, perhaps. Let's try that. Let's try Richard. And a spy. Nope, that is not correct. I'll figure it out later. Let's see what you have to say about this. Richard must really trust me because he allows me to set the new code. Good to know. Definitely the next person is Richard. Ah, uh, uh, what's in here? Oh, a stick. I wonder what happens when I pull it. Ah, I forgot the combination again. Luckily, I always keep something around in the corner. Excuse me? Oh, God, there's a moose. I mean, I'm not scared of mice. Sing a slightly askew. Keep something around in the corner. Where the fuck is- oh, that's not really a corner, but whatever. One, two, three, pull. Ah, I forgot the combination again. One. Luckily, I always keep something around in the corner. Two, three, pull. What? One, two, three. Oh. Pull. 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 Does it, did it work? Oh, I did. Okay, cool. Awesome. I'm the greatest detective ever. That's creepy. What did she have to say about this? It was a close call right before that waiter caught me. I see. It's all coming together. A speakeasy. Ah, this is where people drink during the Prohibition era. I mean, this era. I can't believe my lie worked, and they showed me their speakeasy bar. The bar must be making good money from illegal booze if they can afford a radio. Alright, I'm looking for numbers. What does he have to say about this? Freddy and William would play jazz when Richard wasn't there. He hates jazz. Well, that's because Richard's a bitch. Jazz, perhaps? We'll try that. Let's see, uh, when f uh, is Freddy a spy? No. Is Freddy a jazz? Is his job jazz? Is his jab jaws? 
Huh? <laughs>